Okay, so my new cafe job gives me a little bit more money. But I think it costs me more energy? Two more energy, five more money. And I need the money. Because, man, going to the pub every night and climbing the walls and stuff, it's exhausting. Absolutely exhausting, so... Hopefully, I get an upgrade to the watering of the football players soon. Otherwise, I might have to take on another job that has nothing to do with any of these stats, but we'll figure that out as we go. An event. You know what? I think this is going to be a good week. For a change, I'm actually getting out the door without running into something crazy delaying me. The last few weeks have been ridiculous. Everyone else has already gone to class, so I lock the door behind me as I head out. All right. Oh, what's the doggy's name? Vegemite. This is where Vegemite starts. Or at least, I thought the others had gone off to class. It looks like Sally's coming back. She looks really nervous about something. Her eyes are darting all over, and she's walking with a bit of a hunch. I hope she didn't hurt herself. I walk out the gate and give her a wave as I turn toward my class. Oh, Anne. Um, hey, I uh forgot a book. Okay, yeah, she's really terrible at hiding things. Sally runs past me and heads to the door without looking me in the eye. I can tell she's struggling to keep her jacket closed and get into her pockets at the same time. I suppose I could go over and help, but that just means getting tied up into whatever crazy scheme she's got going on today. I just don't know if it's worth it. Of course, if there's a puppy involved. Oh, I'm getting entirely too caught up with these people. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Uh, excuse me. Choking. I head back towards the door, reaching into my pockets to fish out my keys. Here, let me get that for you, Sally. Ah! Oh, Anne! Sorry, I thought you'd gone ahead. Yeah, could you please grab the door for me? Sally struggles with her jacket for a few moments, looking around shiftily. Everyone else is gone, right? It's Dominic's TA day, right? I think so. Why? What's... Before I can finish my sentence, I hear it. A small whimper, like a small dog whining. Is that what I think it is? <sighs> Sally opens her jacket, revealing a tiny puppy. Oh my god, he's so cute! He is pretty adorable, isn't he? Yes, he is. Where'd you find him? He was just wandering the street down by the main avenue. What? Did you ask around about him? Of course! I just don't go around stealing dogs. I didn't say that. Anyway, he was about to go wandering into traffic, so I scooped him up. I looked all over, but nobody claimed him. I don't see any tags or anything. Who would abandon a cute little guy like this? I don't know. It happens a lot around college towns like this, though. People get a pet and then have to move away for some reason, and they just abandon their poor animals. Sally looks like she's about to cry just thinking about it. Well, for now, let's get him set up inside. Come on. I unlock the door, step through, and take off my winter coat. You do know this is totally against the rules, though, right? Dominic will freak if he finds out. Well, I'm not telling if you're not. Well, I'm not going to leave a poor puppy out on the streets. You can count on me. Here, stay here and cover him up. I'll make sure the coast is clear. Thank you, Anne. I really appreciate your help. So does little Vegemite. Vegemite? Suddenly, I hear rustling from the kitchen. I try to sneak a bit closer. That's when I see Dominic's hand pushing the door open. Crap! I've only got a moment to figure out what to do before he comes out here. Count to 35 before coming back in. I slam the door on Sally, shoving her back outside into the cold. Now what to do? Uh, oh, oh my, ah! <laughs> I guess it's pretty easy to just fake an accident. That should distract him. While he's coming out of the kitchen, I rush over toward the door. Oh no, I forgot my lunch! I collide with him pretty hard. Guess I overdid it. Oh jeez. Anne, are you okay? I think so. Oh, my shoulder kind of hurts. Really? Let me see. Um, yeah, a bit. I, um, don't think it's anything too bad. We have to be sure. He places a hand on my shoulder and then pulls my arm out and starts rotating it. His hands are firm, but gentle as he feels the muscle. He actually looks really concerned. Um, what about you? Are you okay? I'm fine. Does this hurt? As he's tending to me, the handle on the door turns slowly, and I see Sally start sneaking in. 
Hmm. It seems to be fine, but we should probably go to the first aid kit. No! No need to go over... Oh, hey, Sally. Did you forget something, too? Um, yeah, I forgot a book. Sorry. Is something wrong with your jacket? Uh, no, I'm fine. Oh, I think I found the sore spot. Dominic returns his attention to me, searching for the spot I'm indicating. I think I'm fine. Can you just, um, rub the spot for a few moments? Um, of course, Anne. I think we're both blushing, but it gives Sally the chance she needs. She smirks and winks at me as she heads up the stairs, mouthing, Nice! before she leaves my view. I'll have to ask her what that was about when I check on her later. In the meantime, I have to admit, Dominic actually does a good job of massaging my shoulder. Th thanks, Dominic. I should get going to class. Uh, yeah. I'm glad you're feeling okay, Anne. Thanks, I'm glad you're fine too, Dominic. And I left, before things got more awkward. <laughs> oh, one of my professors just emailed me. He wants to see me after class. Maybe he has an extra credit assignment. Oh, but I was supposed to meet one of my classmates to study in the library. Maybe I should go there first? But then I might miss Professor Task's meeting. Uh, let's go. I guess since I'm supposed to be studying for his class, I should probably go see what he wants. During class, I let my partner know I have to see the professor. Luckily, he sent her the same email. Woohoo! Afterwards, we head to his office. It's like kismet. Oh, I forgot about this professor. Ah, one of my favorite, favorite professors. Professor, you wanted to see me? Oh, Anne, exactly on time. As expected of you. He gives me a smile of appreciation that lights up his face. He has a very wise demeanor, I think. He really is the epitome of a college professor. So dignified and handsome. Thank you, Professor Task. Well, anyway, to the matter at hand. You both know I've been helping out the sociology department lately, right? Well, one of the other professors is running an experiment. She wanted me to give a few of my students a little questionnaire. You don't have to, but I'll give you a bit of extra credit for your trouble. I'll fill it out, Professor. <laughs> I'll never catch up to Anne if I don't get a little extra. Oh, you're doing fine, Carmen. But, yes, I'll fill one out, Professor. The Professor looks pleased with both of, both of us, handing us our papers. There are a few questions on the paper, mostly about my college life. I fill in most of it pretty easily. The last question gives me pause, though. Your fellow student has obtained the answers for the next test. They plan on using them, as do several others. They offer you the chance to use them as well. There is no chance for you to be caught using the answers. Do you use them on the test? No. I mark down now and proudly hand my paper in. Thank you, Anne. He looks over my paper with a bemused grin on his face. I appreciate your time. Now I don't want to hold you two back from your studies any longer. I'm looking forward to your project this term. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Task. Thanks for this opportunity. Of course, dear. Now run along, you two. I gather Carmen up and we head off to the library. You're so lucky, Anne. He likes you. <laughs> no. He just appreciates good grades. You're doing fine, Carmen. <laughs> we continue talking about him as we go on our way. He's so dignified and handsome. <laughs> He does have some nice hair. Good grief, there goes my money. Okay, got some more money. Jersey, check. Water dispenser, check. Team spirit. Well, I gotta get to work. <laughs> Thanks for the H2O. <laughs> You're welcome, Chad. Just taking care of business. This makes no sense. Gah! I really don't know why I took this class. Trying to broaden my horizons. Please. Come on, Anne, you can get this. Everything all right in here? You sounded like you were frustrated in here, Anne. For a second I thought it was Max's room. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know I was being that loud. This is just a complicated problem. I'll figure it out. Oh, did you need a hand? What are you calling me over for, douchebag? What? Nobody called you, jackass. Well, then, what are you saying my name for? Hey, Anne. 
Oh, hey, Max. I was just talking to Dominic about my homework. Sounds boring. What are you working on? Oh, don't worry about it, you guys. I'll figure it out. The boys look like they doubt me. I guess they might be helpful. But I won't learn anything if I don't puzzle through this stuff. Well, all right. It might help to talk through this. All right. Let's work on it a bit. Dominic and Max come over towards my desk to look over my shoulder at the problem. Um, Max, we're trying to study here. Yes, we are, so shut up so some of us can concentrate. You wouldn't know how to concentrate if I pelted you with every can of frozen juice in the store. <laughs> what? See, this is what smarts get you. Terrible puns. And, you know, douchebags. Shut up. I hide my smile behind a hand. Um, well, I'm sorry, Max. I can't say no to Dominic. He, he would be the one that Anne would go to for help in this situation, for being completely honest. Well, Dominic, I think the problem breaks down into these parts, see? I show Dominic my work so far, and he examines it with a thoughtful look. Max looks over his shoulder, but gets bored of it rather quickly. All right, I think that's about it for me. Good luck, Anne. Try not to catch anything. <laughs> okay, Anne, I think this is where it breaks down. See in this part. Oh, I think I see. Together, Dominic and I go through the steps of the problem, and he shows me how to work them out. It's nice to work through this with someone who gets it on the same level, or better, than I do. Plus, Dominic is a really good teacher. Yeah, I get it now. I feel bad. I should have seen that ages ago. Hey, don't worry about it. Sometimes you just need a different perspective. It's nice to study with someone who takes it seriously. <laughs> I'm sure. I wish the others were as good with their studies as you. Still, I'm happy we got to study together. Dominic smiles warmly at me. On an impulse, I give him a quick hug. I appreciate the help, Dominic, really. He blushes for a second, which is kind of a nice reversal. Well, no problem. You should have the rest of that down easy. I'll see you later, Anne. Take care. I get back to my homework with a much happier demeanor. Oh, good grief. Hold on a second. I need to drink some water. <clears throat> You're killing my hair. Ah, oh, why isn't my alarm on? I could have sworn I set it on time. Damn it! I fly through my room, picking out a quick outfit to wear today. I look at the clock. If no one's in the way, I might be able to grab a shower. If there's one downside to having five roommates and only one actual bathroom, it's early morning traffic. With everyone's class schedules, people always seem to be coming or going in the morning. Which can mean a lot of trouble when you're used to having some privacy in the shower. Dominic laid down the law pretty early. He gathered all of us in the room, too. But he mostly talked to Isabella and Max. It's a little harrowing, but people have been pretty good about it. I've actually managed to keep to myself so far. And that's why I'm so mad I overslept this morning, and it just ruins everyone's schedule. If someone is in there, it could cause me to be late. It's almost not worth the hassle. I washed my hair last night, so I should be able to take a quick shower. I mean, I just feel so gross when I don't take one. I haven't been rushed like this since grade school. Yeah, we run into Isabella if I don't... If I remember correctly. No, I'm not going to go through today stinking and greasy. I've got time. Hopefully the showers are empty. I can do it. <clears throat> I grab up my towel and things and run down the hall for the bathroom. There she is. As I head toward the bathroom, I can see Isabella leaving. Her own bathroom bundle in hand. Have a good day, Isabella. Isabella just winks at me and holds a finger up to her lips as she goes past. Only as she passes me do I notice that the bundle she's carrying is closed, but she's already dressed. Wait. Shh, go on, take a shower. Just as I'm about to question what's going on, the door to the bathroom opens up, and I just see the top of a blonde head sticking out. It's more than the top of a blonde head. All right, you assholes, very funny. <laughs> Isabella snickers and runs off downstairs like a child who just stole the last cookie. I'm going to kill one of you. I'm not even sure which one. Maybe I'll just kill someone at random. The first one to bring back my clothes doesn't get murdered. That's fair, right? Unfortunately, since I'm still standing in the hall, 
And the first one Dominic locks his murderous glaze on. Glaze? Blair. Um, are, are you okay? Dominic blanches at the sight of me and pulls his head back into the bathroom. Did you see someone running by, Anne? And by someone, I mean Max. No, but it's a bit... Oh. Yeah. Look, I'll kill her later. Can you just grab me a towel, please? They're in the closet over there. Um, okay, sure. Do you... Um, do you want me to hand it to you in there? <sighs> Dominic doesn't say anything for a bit. Just hand it to me from over there, it's fine. I head over to the linen closet and grab a fresh towel. I walk close to the bathroom door where Dominic's got a hand waving around. Any time now is fine. I feel bad for always sneaking out his butt. <laughs> I'm gonna, ch <laughs> gonna see what throwing the towel does. Dominic's hand is still flailing around outside the door. I gently set the towel on his fingers and then run back to my room and shut the door. <laughs> There you go. A few minutes later, I can hear Dominic's triumphant bellow from down the hallway. The next few minutes are nothing but the sounds of tromping feet and neither Dominic's yelling or Isabella's shrieking. <laughs> I should probably get to class, but I don't think it's safe out there. I'm just contemplating tri uh, trying the window when my door bursts open and Isabella slips inside, closing it quickly. Oh crap, you're still here! Sorry, I just didn't think he'd look for me here. She locks the door behind her, running behind my bed with her face peeking over the covers. <laughs> Come on, hon, you know how he is when he's pissed. He just needs to cool off. Isn't it your fault he's pissed? Why are you dragging me into it? Because you're too cute to leave out of it? That doesn't make any sense. Your face doesn't make any sense. Just hide me. <laughs> Suddenly there's a pounding on my door. <laughs> this is so hilarious. I'm glad I picked this. Anne, did Isabella go by you? I cautiously go over and open the door. I barely hear Isabella eep and duck down. Eep. Oh, hello. Actually, she... Why are you still in the towel, Dominic? Uh... I mean... I have to go now. Thank you for your assistance, Anne. <laughs> Dominic stalks off like he's never been so embarrassed. I close my door again and Isabella starts dying of laughter. <laughs> I have to admit, it was pretty funny. I may have missed a class, but what an opportunity. Oh, I got points with Isabella? Sweet! For letting her hide in my room. Well, that was worth it. Um, I'm just here to serve you. Five faints today. <laughs> Pay up, in. Okay. Studying. You can do it, Anne. You're doing great. Finals are coming up pretty soon, and if I don't get to the library, I'm never going to get my research done properly. As I double-check my reading list to make sure I know what I'm picking up, I can hear the others speaking in the hallway. Hey, I've got things to do tonight, Dominic. None of them are babysitting. He seemed in a very, very bad condition. His fever is incredibly high. I can't believe we're all going out. I just want to make sure someone is here to keep an eye on him. It's just a cold, Dominic. At worst, it's a little flu. I'm sure he'll be fine with some bed rest. Probably the best thing we can do is leave him alone to sleep. Exactly. I mean, I feel for him and all, but I've actually got to hit up the pr computer lab or I'm not going to be able to finish my project. I know, I know. We all have things to do. If he gets really bad, though, he might need help, and I don't want him going ass up on my watch. It would be nice of us to keep an eye on him. I hadn't seen Max for a bit. I didn't know he was that sick. Still, I really do need to go to the library. I guess I might be able to look up the information in those books online. It wouldn't be as good as the real thing, though. My report might suffer for it. Then again, I don't know if I really want to be responsible for Max all by myself. <clears throat> I'm not exactly good around sick people. The others might think I'm already at the library. I could always just sneak out and actually go there. <laughs> Ah, uh, I feel bad for Max. No, I can't just let him stay all by himself. That just wouldn't be right. I might be able to do it. Oh, Anne. I thought you'd gone to the library. There, Anne wants to do it. Can we go now? Do you not have a major paper to research at the library, Anne? Um, well, 
Yeah, but I can probably find the information online. I mean, Wikipedia's not that bad, right? <laughs> That's not a great option for you, though, Anne. Definitely. I don't want anyone to sacrifice their good grade for this. I just want to make sure someone is around to keep an eye on him. I suppose my plans could be put off. I can stay and keep an eye on him instead. What were you planning to do? Simply observe the stars for painting. Oh, well... That's okay, Max. Uh, Max for cash. I'll look after Max. want to find out what his normal ending is, exactly. No, it's really okay. I think I know a few sites I can use to find the information I need. Are you sure, Anne? <laughs> um, yeah, yes, yes for cash, it'll be fine, I'll be fine. So, like I said, Anne volunteers, can we go? <laughs> Thanks, Anne, we appreciate you taking this one. No problem. All right, Anne, thank you very much. You know where the first aid kit is, and all the emergency numbers are down on the fridge. Yep, I'll be fine. Really. The others I'll leave for their respective engagements while I head into Max's room. He's lying on his bed, barely covered. I pull the blanket up over him while I go to grab my laptop. He sleeps fairly well, if a little fitfully. Whenever he wakes up, I make sure to offer him some water or juice. I sit on the floor in his doorway, mostly because his room is a pigsty. <laughs> he really needs to clean it, so mostly I'm just afraid to sit in his room. In the morning, Max has got a lot more cool color, a lot more cooler, a lot more cooler in his cheeks. Yes, I think he's looking much better. Did you stay with me? Um, yes. Ain't you sweet? I owe you one. Oh no, it's fine. Well, it'll have to be later. Back to sleep now. Try not to pick up my body too much. You'll go blind. <laughs> I might like him better when he's passed out. Don't tell him though. Though I am glad he's feeling better. I am. Oh, what an eventful week. Whew, I gotta get more money.